Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. You might have heard the news floating around related to a ban for popular social media platforms like Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter and Google in India from the 26th of May. Now before getting started, no guys, none of these platforms are getting banned effectively from 26th. This is just a start for what might be a long discussion among the Indian government and the respective organizations. And just to put it into perspective, there is a possibility for a ban given what happened with TikTok. TikTok was one of the trending platforms with more users than Twitter and the Indian government simply banned them concerning privacy issues. It was so easy for them to ban TikTok. So anything is possible in 2021. So these platforms might get banned, but not as of now. So for all those who are wondering that why is this happening all out of the blue? You are wrong. This has been around for some time, three months to be precise. And let me now take you back three months back to the point where it all started. As you all know, India is one of the major consumers of internet and social media platforms. India is a diverse country with many religions and languages spread across the second most populous country in the world. So the internet regulations which were in effect were obviously outdated and it was time for a change. And right on time, the central government came out with a fresh set of IT regulations this time three months ago. Now though these new IT rules are made for the betterment of the internet and the people, there are some long term disadvantages with the same. The new rules most prominently give the government lots of power and control over the data that these companies collect within India. This ultimately means that there is a serious concern of privacy given how the government can access and control users data. So who needs to accept these new IT regulations? Almost all major social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Twitter, Netflix and yes, Google is also included here. The government has set 50 lakhs users as the threshold for identifying such social media companies and has also given a deadline of 3 months to accept these new rules from the 25th of February. What are these new IT rules anyways that's causing too much trouble for everyone? And yes, there are lots of new regulations, but we are going to focus on the most significant ones which are causing trouble. So we have four rules that are more significant. Let us take a look at these four rules. So the first one includes the big tech companies. The government calls them significant social media. They must have a chief compliance officer in India who can respond to government demands and needs whenever required. Say for example, if the government requires data of user A from Twitter and if the demand is legally valid, then this compliance officer will be responsible for producing data to the government. Then the second rule is the tech companies have also been asked to hire a nodal officer that will coordinate with the law enforcement agency 24 seven and whenever the government requires such coordination. The third rule states that the social media companies have been asked to hire a grievance redressal officer whom the social media users like us will be able to approach if we have any grievances. And finally, companies like WhatsApp have been asked to ensure that they can trace the message back to the original sender. Now, effectively, this means breaking or circumventing end to end encryption that WhatsApp offers to its users. So complying with such a request is incredibly challenging. But it's also impossible for a service like WhatsApp, which will cause more privacy issues and no one will use WhatsApp. So these are the most significant four rules. As you can see, these rules make it much easier for the government to access the data instead of needing to get the approval from the CEO who is probably busy somewhere in the US. The fourth rule especially has definitely raised eyebrows given it breaks WhatsApp's privacy norms and causes a privacy threat to its users. So what if not accepted? Failing to comply with this new set of rules laid by the government means that these social media companies lose their status as an intermediary. Why this matters is because all these companies enjoy the luxury of being an intermediary according to the IT Act. So let me give you a short idea about the IT Act. The subsection 1 of section 79 of the IT Act gives protection to social media companies and web services by making them intermediaries. So what this means is that the company by itself is protected and is not responsible for any offensive or controversial user content. 
and earlier when i said that these companies lose the intermediary status when not accepting the rules this is what i meant these companies will not be banned immediately but will be stripped away of their intermediary protection you might ask what's bad in losing this so called intermediary protection but to be honest it is a whole lot than what you think without this protection these companies can be easily dragged into court and prosecuted using the indian laws these companies will also be responsible for the users content and are bound to be answerable to the local law enforcement which might include punishment and even restrictions the government instead of explicitly banning these social media platforms might resort to such measures which i mentioned above this definitely affects the user experience which will definitely affect the revenue for these companies and worst case scenario the government would also levy taxes if these companies not accept the rules and might even stop these companies from serving advertisement to its users now this will be so bad for all these companies because ad revenue accounts to the most of the earnings for these social media companies especially google and facebook so have the companies responded as of now none of the big social media companies have accepted the new it rules Facebook has said that they are in talks with the government and that they seek an extension citing further approvals with the higher officials. Google has responded by saying that they will comply with the new IT rules set by the Indian government. But yes, none have accepted as of now except Ku which is the Indian version of Twitter. So that's the wrap for today's video guys. A short one explaining on what's happening right now between the Indian government and these big social media companies. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel. Meet you all in my next one.